What's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna tell you about my top three biggest mistakes that I've made as a real estate agent. Look, I'm sure if you're watching this, you're probably scared or nervous to make mistakes, but guess what? They happen and I've made some big ones. So I'm gonna give you the three mistakes that I made, including the one time that I walked in on a client. I'm Chasen J. Miles. If you're new here to my channel, welcome. I thank you for being here. I released videos to help people coming into real estate or new agents give you advice tell you what you can expect tools tips all that good stuff so if that's why you're here do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button i'll definitely appreciate it and if you want more content like this please consider subscribing i'd love to have you as part of my youtube family now in this video somewhere probably towards the end i'm gonna let you know where you can go and get my 90 day action plan and what this is is this is a pdf document that will basically jump start your real estate business it includes a schedule it includes information on time blocking what you should do every day so that you can get your business going but other than that let's go ahead and hop into this video i can't let them take my soul nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 nah. All right, so for my first mistake that I made as a real estate agent, this was actually dealing with me not turning in a piece of paper. So here's what went down. On this transaction, I was representing the buyers. So my clients were purchasing a home. My buyers had came in, this was closing day. They came in, they signed all the documents, they paid their money, they were good to go now it was the seller's time to come in and sign the documents i'll tell you this the cool thing about where this closing was happening was the title company was right next door to my real estate office so i didn't really have a far commute i literally walked right out the front door of my office and turned left and the title company was right there my clients they came in they signed all their closing documents they wired the money to the title company. They were ready to purchase a home that day. We finished up, we wrapped up the closing in probably about an hour. Later that day, it was the seller's turn to come in and sign their documents and do everything. So I'm just in my office waiting around for this closing to take place, waiting for these sellers to come in, sign so that way we can all collect our commission, they can exchange keys, all that good stuff. Well, I get a call during the time that the seller is supposed to be signing their documents from the escrow officer and they basically told me that the seller is refusing to sign the rest of the documents. I was like, why? And they said that the numbers aren't right. There was a line item on the documents that wasn't calculated correctly. I found this hard to believe because everybody received the numbers ahead of time. I thought that everybody had agreed on them, but apparently something wasn't right. So I leave my office, I go outside, turn left, go into the title company. The escrow officer meets me at the front. He's letting me know that buyers were supposed to pay for a refrigerator. He left the refrigerator in the property. We had signed all the documents, but that line item wasn't on there. Now, here's why this was such a big deal. If that line item was to be added onto that document, it would have to go back to the buyer's lender. It would have to go back into underwriting. They'd have to review everything. It was gonna add days more onto the process. This line item, this refrigerator, it had already been negotiated. We had documents showing that the buyers were gonna pay X amount of dollars for this refrigerator that the seller was gonna leave. I thought that I could just turn in that document, but the escrow officer told me what was gonna take place, what would have to take place. I put my thinking cap on and I said, what am I gonna do? I went in there and I was talking to the seller. This seller, he was kind of mean. He was like, nope. I'm not signing, I'm not doing anything. We're shutting down closing. I want my money for this refrigerator. I said, okay, my clients will get you the money. I had already told them what had taken place. They will get you the money. Luckily, they weren't too mad at me because they know that they didn't pay for it, but I had to do what was right. So this guy shuts down closing. I was literally left with no other option. He was refusing to sign and he wanted that money right then and there. I even told him, I said, we can get you the money after closing after you know everything's done he didn't trust that i had to leave there go run to kroger's get a money order for the amount of that refrigerator that we had negotiated pay out of my own pocket to this man 
in order for him to complete this closing. Now, I'll tell you, I didn't get my money back from the clients. It's not a big deal. It was my mistake, but literally me forgetting to turn in that one document to the title company and to the lender cost me over half of my commission. The biggest lesson you can learn from that is turn in all of your documents when you're supposed to. Another mistake that I made as a real estate agent was I was showing a property and this actually happened not too long ago. So trust me, you can be years in the business and still make stupid mistakes. So I was showing a property. I had a whole family with me. I, I was showing the whole family, the mom, the dad, two daughters. We were in this nice house. It was over half a million dollars. Normally, when I am showing a property, I will lock the front door and I'll carry the key around with me. Well, this particular time, I didn't lock the front door. I didn't carry the key with me. We go outside, I'm showing them the house, and then we go outside to go look at the pool and everything. And while we're standing out there, me and the whole family, I hear this sound that sounds like a door is locking, the door freaking locked. We were locked outside. I left the key inside of the home. I didn't know the code on the keypad. We were locked outside. I call the agent to see if I can get this code. They're not answering. I called the showing service to see if they can get in touch with the agent. They weren't able to get in touch with the agent. I'm outside with this family showing a half a million dollar home and we are locked outside. So what ended up happening was the father who I was showing, he went outside the fence and he said, you know, I'm gonna try all the windows. I'm gonna try all the doors, all this kind of stuff. I'm outside with the rest of the family. He goes to the front door and thank God I left the front door unlocked which again, I never do because I think that it's a little unsafe and anybody can just walk in. That front door didn't lock because it wasn't closed all the way. He went in and came in and unlocked the door for us and we were in the house. Always keep the key with you. No matter what you're showing, always keep the key with you. Now, the final mistake that I learned, I was visiting one of my clients and they, I was putting their, their condo on, on the market. We had it on the market. So I was going to stop by to visit them. I think I had to deliver some paperwork or something. I showed up just a few minutes early, right? Like, I mean, probably five to 10 minutes early. Went in through the back because the way that this community is set up, you actually enter from the back because that's where the parking spots are and everything. So I went in from the back. This is what I normally do. I open up the back fence to let me into the little courtyard area of my client's condo. There he is in his underwear, like drinking out of a gallon. And he sees me and I see him. He spits out his drinks and takes off running. And I'm sitting there like, oh crap. Like, what am I supposed to do? It was so awkward that day. Like, I mean, he, he went and put some, some clothes on. And when I say in his underwear, I mean, he, he only had his underwear on. So he takes off running. He comes back. I'm just standing there like, man, what did I just do? I should have called when I was in the parking lot, but he knew that I was coming and, and I don't know, it was just a big mess. And so we're in, we're in the house now and there was just like this awkward moment. And I just kept apologizing to him. I was like, my bad, man, I didn't mean to do that, my bad. And I could tell he was kind of embarrassed or, you know, he was uncomfortable. And we were probably like socially distanced just for the matter of it, but it was all fine after that. But that was another mistake that I made. So lesson, moral of the story and lesson to be learned is call people before you just show up to their house because you don't want to walk in on somebody like I did. So those are three mistakes that I've made in my real estate business. And trust me, mistakes happen every day. Like we're, we're only human. So don't beat yourself up. Life goes on, all that kind of stuff. Again, I want to let you know where to get that 90 day action plan. I'm going to put the link in the description and also up in the cards. So if you're looking for a new direction in your real estate business, or you just want to know what to do on a day to day basis, go ahead and get that 90 day action plan. Look, I'm curious. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever made any mistakes in your real estate business. I definitely want to hear about them. And thank you for watching. Hit Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this and consider subscribing if you want more videos like this. I'm chasing J Miles and I will talk to you soon. Close, these demons really had to get you, so you better guard your post. There's certain things I could probably let go, but I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul.